vlogs. It's Nessa here from Infinity Zero's channel. So I wanted to show you guys some um, really get great mail that I got, um, which was a um, I want to give away on Mama G Gear's um, site. It was during her live stream. It was the monthly appreciation bag. Yay! So I wanted to show that. And I also wanted to show some current makes and also throw in some time in here the uh, Stanley purchase that I had done with Halloween fall themed colored cakes. So I have plenty to show you guys. So I finished another shawl which I actually gifted to my friend for her birthday. So I don't have that here with me. Sorry, my doggie decided to play right now. I don't have that here with me. I already gave it to her last weekend for our present. Uh, later in the month, I'll put it in the community post to show the picture of that. Uh, we actually have a contest concerning Halloween-themed and fall-themed makes in uh, Tiffany Hansen's Crochet Club. So I can't really show that right now because I may be entering it in the contest. Um, so I've been working on this shawl. This is again Bag O' Day um, Crochet's pattern. It's Crystal's pattern. Um, the video tutorial is available for free on her channel. It's the High Expectations Shawl. And I'm making it with the Red Heart Roll With It Sparkle yarn with a 6mm hook. This colorway is Moon Dust. And um, <clears throat> I'm making it uh, for. Mama G Gears auction in November. They're doing an auction to raise funds for their um, mental health meows. And also um, from that, Rusty is going to get her doggy a wheelchair. That's a front front wheel wheelchair. Like, you know, the it's for the front paws of the doggy. Anyways, so yeah, so I've been working on this. Hopefully it'll be auctioned. Hopefully it'll go for a good amount and maybe a second one. I'm not sure yet. Depends how I'm doing with time. So this yarn, it says it recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is an I-9 or a um, size 8 US knitting needles. Uh, it says you can machine wash and dry it. It recommends 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. And it's 5.29 ounces or 150 grams, 5.61 yards or 513 meters, 97% acrylic and 3% other fibers, and you don't really feel the sparkle. And that's what the colorway looks like. So it's a bunch of different like browns and tans with silver sparkle running throughout. <clears throat> So yeah, so hopefully I can finish that soon. I just started this one last night. Ooh, there we go. And this is the Virus Shawl Meets uh, Granny Square. It's actually coming out really pretty. It's the first time that I've used this yarn. I'm not like a huge fan of these colors, but hopefully they'll grow on me by the time it's closer to done. Um, so I'm using that yarn that I had gotten on sale at Hershner's. It's the Premier Sweet Roll DK yarn. It comes 541 yards or 495 meters, 4.9 ounces or 140 grams. This colorway is called Yellowstone. And this is classified as a light DK three weight yarn. I'm using a five millimeter hook. And it recommends a 3.75 millimeter US 5 knitting needles or a F5 crochet hook. It says machine wash warm, tumble dry. And the rest of the colorway is white with tan and gray. And what's in the shawl is yellow and a light yellow with like a yellowish green and a gray. Um, so yeah. Oh, and this um, pattern. The video tutorial is available on Fiber Spider's site. And I actually saw, I was in the live stream yesterday for um, Queen's Craft by Bridget. And um, Melanie was on there as well. <laughs> uh, her YouTube handle name is really long. It's like Lethalnia's 
something something and I can't remember right now. I'll tag it in the description box below. But they have just started making this shawl and I decided I'd join them. So, hey ladies, look. Uh, <laughs> I started it last night and I've been working on it today. Um, so it's really cool because this, this is considered, um, it's been named the virus stitch and crochet. And this is the granny stitch, which is three double crochets together. And that's how the shawl goes. It just alternates like that. So yeah. Um, and I'll put links to all of this above. And by the way, if you like the content on my channel, please click like and subscribe. Um, and um, just so folks know, I hit my first level of monetization. Uh, so I did reach 3,000 hours. Thank you so much. But I still need um, plenty more watch hours um, to reach level two, which is 4,000 hours. So thanks so much for everyone watching and welcome to the new subscribers. And thank you so much to the return subscribers. So hopefully I'll eventually get there. Um, this is another project I'm working on. Remember I had shown a few videos back. Ooh, it's a little bit of a tangle here. Um, this Dottie's yarn that I had unboxed that I had bought that was on sale at Hirschner's. It's premier yarn. This colorway is called peach blossom. It's also a three, an, a light, um, three weight yarn, DK weight. So it's machine wash, warm, tumble dry, low heat. It's really soft. Um, this is a peach color and then it has specks of orange and brown and olive green throughout. Um, it's called a uh, color shifting dot print. It has 656 yards or 600 meters, seven ounces or 200 grams. Um, it's, it's really good for baby projects too. This one I said again is the peach blossom colorway. That's the, all that info on there. They recommend a US five size knitting needles or a four millimeter US G6 crochet hook. Um, this is kind of what they show that it works up with knit. That's a sample there. Also Creative Grandma, she has a video where she shows some swatches that she's worked up with this yarn in different colorways. And I was doing her pattern where she does a blanket that's corner to corner stitch, which is like corner to corner block stitch. Um, and this is what I have so far. So I've been working on this. Yes, I realized last night that this could totally work as a shawl just like this. Um, <clears throat> so I'll probably continue this one and continue it off as a blanket. I was debating if I was going to use it or not for a Boggy Creek blanket. Or for um, family, you know, that's recently had a baby. I'm not sure yet. And then I may make a second one as a shawl, too. So, yeah. So, that's, um, I like how it looks. I think it looks pretty nice. There, close up. And then it has really nice drape. I'm using a 5 millimeter crochet hook with this. At first, I thought it was maybe too thin, but I, I think it's kind of growing on me. So now for the goodies. This is the baggie. It was jam-packed stuffed, so um, I couldn't get all the items back in. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. Everything's so pretty. Um, so yeah, so there were two hanks of this, which is some really cool Queensland collection dungarees tweed. It's uh, some yarn spun from recycled jeans. I've never had this yarn before. It's uh, classified as a fingering weight, super fine one yarn. Um, and I, I would agree with it. Actually, I think I was, I was holding two strands there. Hold on. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think that's, uh, that's how it is. And it says the color is Sturt Stormy, Dilot 58305. It's 3.52 ounces or 100 and grams. It's 95% cotton and 5% other fibers. Each hank is 437 yards or 400 meters. That, that's a nice amount. That's more than 800 uh, yards here. Recommend knitting gauge is a US 1 to 3, 2.5 to 3.25 millimeter knitting needles. 
crochet gauge is USB 1 to E4 crochet hook, which is 2.25 to 3.5 millimeters. And I think the washing instructions are hand wash and lay flat to dry. So it was really small down there. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. Sorry that it's flipped. I'm recording on my phone and it's kind of harder to... Um, to invert the video. Oops. So, more goodies in here. Mama G sent me a little pumpkin that she had made. It's super cute. I got the multicolored one. So it's white and navy blue with fuchsia and green and gray. So I'm going to put it with my other pumpkin collection that my cousin gave me that she made. Um, hold on, I have to take one out at a time because if not, I can't get everything out. Okay. So there are two, one skein in the purple and one skein in the orange of the Mary Maxim Shimmer Yarn. Uh, the orange colorway is called, I don't know what the English, orange? <laughs> so I was reading all the other foreign languages and I'm like, hold on, where's the English? And this one's purple. So that makes sense. It is made in Turkey, approximately 191 yards or 175 meters. 97% acrylic and 3% other. And it's pretty soft. You feel the metallic a little bit, but not too bad. It, it's a, it classified as a medium four weight worsted, worsted yarn. And they recommend a size five millimeter knitting needles, which is a US six. And it says, care instructions, machine wash and delicate setting in warm water, tumble dry and low heat or delicate setting. Do not iron or press. So yeah, so that's both of those. Then there is a Karen Simply Soft, a really nice, pretty sky blue. This color is called uh, Soft Blue. And again, a medium four weight yarn, five millimeter US eight knitting needles or five millimeter US H eight crochet hook. Um, no dye lot, machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic. And this is six ounces or 170 grams. Approximately 315 yards or 288 meters. Yeah, so that's that one. And then the next are these two very cool colors, as well as this one. So this is the uh, Worsted Neon Lights yarn. This is the colorway Vegas. It has some pink, some orange in there, some strong neon blue with the purple and some black. All mixed in, variegated. And this is a 489 yards, 226 grams, 8 ounces or 448 meters. And they recommend an I-9, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And it's classified as a four weight yarn uh, worsted. worsted. <laughs> oh, I can never pronounce that right. Yeah, so that's really pretty. And they also sell it like in a pack with this color and then the solids of each of these colors. So you can buy all that, all, all that together if, if you want, if you're interested. And then these are really cool. I've never had these and I've never used them. They're the Premier Anti-Pilling, but the Everyday Medley. So they do this really cool washed look. Where it's like different color jeans. Um, the dark blue, this one is colorway is navy. And this lighter blue, which is really pretty, colorway is blue note. And it's like it's like a heathered blue with dark with with like a black, dark gray kind of in there. And this one is like dark blue heathered with white, kind of like je like blue jeans. Both of these are worsted four weight yarn. They're 4.5 millimeters recommended use, which is a US 7 knitting needle or a 
4.5 millimeter US 7 size crochet hook. It says machine wash and warm, tested against a bunch of like harmful, against a bunch of harmful substances. It's 219 yards or 200 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams, and it's 100% anti-pilling. So that's all the blurb I just read to you. Yeah, so that's everything in the monthly appreciation bag. Thank you so much. And um, I just got my Halloween 15 Days of Fright box yesterday, but I've been way too tired. So I wasn't going to bring that into this video. I'll do another video. Um, I haven't figured out yet if I'm going to do one like per day leading up to Halloween or if I'm going to do a few at a time. So I need to figure that out. And then um, I had also um, got really lucky and I, 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 I won a second box for the advent. But I spoke to Mama G and she's going to send me uh, kind of like a combination yarny Halloweenish box for as the second one. So um, yeah, so exciting. I can't wait. Um, nope, I didn't bring it. I was I was gonna bring it into the room to then show you guys, but I didn't. So you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait for the next video. Ah. <gasps> and um, yeah. And now to get to like this order, right? Um. So I believe with some of the orders. So I ordered. These Stanley Cakes through Brenda. She has an Etsy shop and a YouTube channel and is now launching a website as well. Her Etsy shop is called Brenda's Knots and Loops. Um, I'll have a link in the description box below as well as a link to her website and her Etsy shop. And what else? She goes live three times a week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday usually. And she'll show kind of like the yarn that she has on stock. But if you have anything specific that you would like to order, um, just contact her, email her, and she will do that um, for you if it's reasonable, right? A reasonable order. Um, anyways, what else? And you can also, the Stenley yarns, they're actually from Bulgaria. You can also order them through Pleda's site. And I think there's also another site that starts with a V, Vil, Viltar, Vilar, or something. I, I've never ordered there, so I can't. Villari. I can't, I can't remember the name to be honest. Um, I know some of these I ordered. Okay. That one's the one that's a duplicate. Okay, cool. Um, sorry about the crinkling ahead of time. I'm going to open them up so you can see them. Cause I don't think, yeah, I guess you could see it pretty good like that. Um, so I ordered this muffin. Well, let me just open it. I ordered this Stenley muffin. It's 100% acrylic yarn. And like I said, a lot of these are Halloween colors or fall, fall themed. The number for this colorway is 9801. No, I think. No, sorry. It's... 1086. Honestly, I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. It, it can go either way. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a 98 or a, you know, 1086, right? I think it's 9801. Um, so yeah, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, the lighting is a little weird in here. So the outside is a dark burgundy red followed by like a medium red in here and then like a golden mustard color in the middle. And this is 100% acrylic again I mentioned and it's 2000 meters, which is 430 grams. And that's all that, it's all in a foreign language. And these are kind of like between a three and a four weight and it comes with a charm in the middle or guide. Some people said it's a guide. Um, I haven't worked one yet. Um, so yeah. And it's a hand wash, lay flat to dry. And I think it's between a size two to four millimeter crochet hook or a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter knitting needles and wash in 30 degrees Celsius water. 
So that's all of that blurb. And again, isn't that, it's so pretty, so rich. Such pretty colors. And then I decided to go for this other colored muffin, which reminded me sort of like pumpkin colors. I think there's an art to being able to untie these. And I think these are classified between a three and a four. So yeah, the number for this colorway is one hundred and ninety oh seven. And this is the same specs as that other one, except this one is like a um, kind of like a reddish brown on the outside. It looks redder on the camera than in person. And then like a brighter orange and a brighter yellow. In between and this one's also 100% acrylic same same specs as the other one then there's this pretty one also another muffin cake some specifications and you can go to her site to check what um, the prices are I don't remember them off the top of my head this one, the, the number for the colorway, and this would do a really good, a really big project, like because they're 2,000 meters, um, the meters are less than yardage, so then it's more than like probably around 2,100, 2,150 yards. I would have to do the math for the conversion for the calculation, and I, I didn't do it ahead of time, so sorry about that. Um, you can do it. <laughs> And the number for this colorway is 18302. And this one is a like nice golden, like a nice rich golden mustard yellow color, like very fall themed. It then goes into a brown and then continues into an orange. And again, this one's also 100% acrylic as well. It's gonna make a very nice, uh, all of these would make very beautiful projects. And then I had ordered two muffin tweeds. That's how they come. I think this is a different one. Yep. Okay. So this is a muffin tween. They usually come with that tag. And if you can see it, it's, um, <clears throat> it feels a little rougher, but all of these are packed really tight. But I've heard that they, um, once you're working with it, it's much softer. Yeah, you can feel the individual strands are much softer. It has my start pull tag there. That's the description on there, which is also in a foreign language. So it's like a pretty tweed brown with white and then goes into an orange, which then goes into like that golden hue color, which is really pretty. And this colorway is 0704. It's the number there. There we go. And it's a, called a muffin tweed. It's 550 grams or 1,160 meters. And it's, um, I believe it's 10% wool with 75% acrylic and 15% silk, but don't quote me on that because it's in a foreign language. So I am not completely sure what mezzino means in Bulgarian. <laughs> so. So yeah, so there's that one. Oops. I don't know where the tie went for that. Oh no, my charm fell off. I think it was, whoops, for this one. Yep. So it said this is a guide to keep all the, to keep, because it comes, because the yarn is, um, Multiple strands. So 
See, three strands. So this helps um, guide the yarn through as you're crocheting. I don't know how they, maybe they do one thread at a time to get that through that little hole. I'll play with that later when I'm done filming. So I also bought this muffin tweed. This is a beautiful reddish orange on the outside with the golden, with like a tan, tannish brown color and then it goes to that golden color. And this one, the color number is 21301, and it's the same specifications as the other muffin cakes. Is there? There, it's hard. I know it's hard to see the number. And that one I'm not taking out of the bag, so. Um. Oh, okay. Interesting. So this one is 98010. I thought I ordered the same, but I guess I didn't. This one is 98010, and this one is 9804. And the difference is that, um, one, it has more gold in the middle, and two, the outside looks like it's more uh, black as opposed to a dark red. And you'll have to take my word for it, because even if I take it out of the bag, it's going to be hard for you to see it with this camera right now. Um, so yeah, I guess those aren't the same. Oh well. It's fine. I just may have to order, you know, another one, just in case. And then there's this beautiful blue. This is a Souffle Luxe. And this um, color number is 331301. It's also a Stanley cake. It's very soft. It has a start tag down here, start, you know, like easy pull start. Um, it's on a much, it's on the thinner side. I would say maybe a two, a two weight. And they said it's 80% cotton, 10% polyester, 10% lurex. It's 310 grams or 900 meters here in this. Um, what else? I told you the number. They recommend a 3 to a 3.5 knitting needles. And this one is a 3.5 to a 4.5, which would kind of, I guess, put it as a 3. And then this one they recommend a one to three millimeter crochet hook and wash in 30 degrees Celsius and lay flat to dry. So those are all the little specifications on there for the tag. And it's really pretty. It's blue and then the sparkles are all like different colors. This will make a beautiful shawl or top. So it's like metallic red with green, with yellow, with blue. Depends how the light hits it. Very, very pretty. So yeah, so that's everything I wanted to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And have a great day or night. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Bye.